In this uh, video I'm going to do today for you, I want to show you how you can export the results from your Inform Racing System Builder Systems, your list of results here, uh, into the staking machine software, which is a piece of software that is well worth having on your computer just to test all of your systems. You can check it against uh, many different staking plans, analyze the results, manipulate the results, and uh, just work out what's best for you and your system. Okay. Uh, and I'm also going to show you how you can, if you have uh, two or, or more maybe systems that you want to use together, how you can, <clears throat> how you can um, work these systems together by exporting them the, the two sets of results to Excel and um, putting the results together and then taking those results that you've got into TSM. So it allows you to, instead of having one good system, uh, if you've got two, you can use the same set of selections um, from the same starting bank. So first of all, I've got two systems. This is the first system. These are <coughs> this is the summary of results that you get from your system, and down below is the uh, list of results. Okay, keeping the result rules of this to myself, but basically here are some of the rules up here. Okay, <coughs> um, but, um, so I'm keep keeping these rules to myself for the time being. So this. Uh, both of these systems results go back to the start of 2020. This one has a profit of 623 points. And here is the second one now, and that's got a profit of 742 points. Okay. So both decent results, both decent systems, but if you combine them together, then you're obviously going to um, be able to um, profit from both of them. So first of all, let's take uh, this system here that we've got and to Export into TSM, the, the staking machine. First of all, you must have a copy of the staking machine on your computer. Um, I would highly recommend that you do. It's extremely reasonably priced. And there's a link to the staking machine in the information below the video. So once you've run your system, once you've applied your rules and you have your summary and your results, you click export to TSM. And that will be in your downloads. And then you open the file. Okay, and you comes like this. Okay. And excuse me. So first of all, you just want to click comma. Okay. Then click next. Now, when you when you take your results directly from the system builder, you want to just increase this number up here to two, so that you start from row two and not not row one, where we've still got the headers. Okay, and this is the export has been set up to work um, work directly into the TSM software, so you've got the selection information, which is the horse name, the odds data, which is the BSP, and the win or lose string, which is uh, won or lost or the position, let's say, on this one. And the default um, settings for TSM is anything with a one is a winner and anything else is a loser, okay? So click Next again, okay? I always click Replace Data in Main Table if I'm adding and changing the, the list of results just so it always replaces this. Uh, everything is fine, so you can then click Finish. Right. Now, as you can see, this has made a profit. This is to level stakes, okay? So down here are all your um, staking plans. Some uh, I wouldn't recommend, many I wouldn't recommend, but uh, a couple I would are certainly level stakes. And if you can't make a profit at level stakes, I wouldn't bother trying to manipulate the profit out of anything. And the retirement staking plan, is a, a slight, a slow sort of slight recovery plan, but it's um, it's quite safe, and it wouldn't um, put you in too much danger. Okay, or there are other plans. This TSM plan seems quite good, although I've never used it, but the the results seem quite good. But let's work to level stakes. Okay, 
So this is um, this is to level stake. So since 2020, using 15 pound stake, starting from a 500 pound betting bank, profit would be 11,636 pounds. Okay. Now, one, just quickly, once you're into the um, TSM software, you probably want to click data manipulation, okay, and then reverse the sequence because the, the list of results that we get from the system builder shows them the most recent result first. So if you reverse the sequence, that was the first bet in 2020 and that will work down as you uh, as you progress, okay. You can click the staking plan settings to whichever one you're in, edit staking plan settings, okay. And you can see here that the starting bank is 500 pounds. Percentage to bet was always 3%, which is the 15 pounds. You could recalculate after each bet, and that would then take you, give you 3% of whatever the current bank is. So as the bank increases, your stake would increase. So if you save, change, and update, this here, this funny sort of number means that we're in profits of sort of millions. And as you can see, the next bet would be, um, what's that, three? Three million, over three million. Obviously, that's not going to happen. But if you if you scroll down and it's not too long, you've got 2,500, 4,000, 8,000. 8,000 pound with a stake is 200 quid. Everyone's going to be stopping it whenever they want to stop, take some money out and, um, you know, continue from there. It's just whatever suits everyone. So um, it's better probably, it's safer, it's more sensible to just continue at uh, level stakes if you want to okay so that's the uh that's the the t the staking the tsm the staking machine uh you can also analyze all of the systems that you've that you have that was the list that we had and you can see you can click each column to see which gives you the best uh, results return on investment Largest single stake is always worth looking at because you don't want to be really placing £5,000 on a horse. Uh, the retirement staking plan, maximum of 30 quid. Our level stakes, obviously, is a maximum of 15. You've got the return on investment of, for this one was 46%, which you certainly can't be knocking. And there's plenty of other stuff you can do inside the staking machine, but it's an excellent way of testing your systems once you've got a list of results, okay? And the other thing is, once you've got your list of results, you can then continue as you go. So obviously the next stake is going to be £15, but if we were using the retirement staking plan, the next stake is 1947 So you would click on this part of the software and you can type in your horse name once it's run, type in the odds, type in the position, once you've done that, click update results and it will update your profits and what your next stake will be. So it's uh, you can follow all of your systems this way if you want to. OK, so that's the staking machine. OK, now what I'm going to show now is how you can um, combine two system results, sets of results together and uh, use them as one system, as it were. OK, so what you need to do is Click, have your system set of results. Click export to Excel. And open the file, OK. Enable editing, it's just up there out of shot. But that was enable editing, OK. And um, we'll leave that one there. Then we will go to the second system and export those results to Excel. and open that set of results. Okay, now what I like to do if I'm using, if I'm combining systems is I like to change the color of this, one of the systems text, just so you can identify which is which as you've got them uh, joined together. It's just something I like to do. Uh, so I can, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to copy and paste this set of results into the other set of results. Okay, so 
scroll all the way down. Okay. Control and C to copy. Go to your first export. Down to the bottom into that cell and control and V or paste that set of results. Okay. So what you want to do then is just highlight all of the columns, sort and filter oldest to newest. Okay. So now you've got <coughs> your full set of results. Okay. And you could proceed then to add these results into TSM, which I'm going to show you how to do in a, in a second. But first of all, some of these results, <coughs> excuse me, some of these uh, results will have, you can see here in this uh, five o'clock at Chelmsford, there were two horses in two selections, okay? There was two selections in this one, the 225 at Musselboro and so on. Now, personally, I'm not mad keen on backing more than one horse in a race, but um, that's totally up to you. But to, to, to see how... Uh, the, the results would perform if you avoided backing more than one horse in a race. You can click column A at the top and then click conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, duplicate values, okay? And that now hi will highlight every time there's, a, there's more than one horse selected in a race, okay, in this red or pink. So next thing I would do is I would again highlight all of the columns, custom sort this time, keep it as race time, cell color, cell color pink, and leave them on top, okay? Click OK, and that's now sorted. So we've got all of the multiple uh, races with multiple selections in highlighted at the top okay and there's the ones that aren't so <clears throat> we've got the profit figures here that's we've uh, taken from the system builder and when there's a winner it's a calculated you uh, already with two percent um, commission so a winner is uh, this was a winner at 10.5 and all losers show at minus one okay so if you just scroll down to all of the results that are highlighted in pink and we can see the where are we? we can see the profit and loss of these here we are okay so down here you can see there's 261 pounds profit okay from the multiple bets now the two systems together gave about 13 or 1400 points so that means that the well, well, we'll check. Where are we? We can run down those. Okay, so we've got 261. And then if we continue down from these, these ones that had no multiple. So these, this is just all of the selections for both of the systems combined when there was only one horse, one bet in each race. Okay. And uh, we'll come down to the bottom. And we can see that the profit for those is 1104 okay? So that, uh, that to me is, is still a, a nice, decent profit, plus I'm only backing one horse in a race. That's up to you. You can do whatever you want to there. You can just bet, you can bet more than one, or you can bet um, just the one. So just let's presume um, we are going to bet in all of the, the horses in all of the races, just for the time being. So we go back to custom sort, oldest to newest, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to now take these results and put them into the TSM software. So if you click cell N2, and in that cell type equals C2, okay? And in the next cell, click uh, type in equals H2 not plus two, not plus, equals H2. And in the next cell, type in equals D2, okay? So we've just copied over there the horse name, the BSP, 
and the position. One thing I will just do is format these BSP cells to be two decimal places, okay? So once you've done that, you can highlight these three cells. There's a little green square at the bottom of the number one here, and you just drag that all the way down to the bottom. Okay. So now we have these highlighted, we can copy and see, or to copy that list, open up TSM, and when you have the, the file, excuse me, the file tab at the top, click paste data, we've copied all that data and that's now pasted it into the software, click comma, okay, then next. Don't need to change this number this time because we haven't, we've only copied the data, not the headers. Everything up here is correct. The horse name, the BSP and the finishing position. Click next. No errors found. Replace data. Click finish. And we can see that the combined profit of these two systems together uh, using 15 pound level stakes is 21,000 pounds. Okay. That's in five, just over five years. Uh, you've got all the data down here. The longest losing run was 26. Isn't too bad as long as you're prepared for it. Uh, other stats here, okay. And you can check with the, the other uh, syst uh, staking plans as well. So as we've got the settings for the retirement staking plan, that would have made a profit of 81,000, okay. So that's, the, uh, that's what happens. That's how you can... Combine two systems or more systems using the Inform Racing System Builder sets of results. You can either export one set to TSM, the, the staking machine software. Don't forget the link for that is in the information below the video. Or you can export one set of rules or two and then combine the selections and then paste them into the, TS, uh, the, the staking machine software to see how your systems would have combined, okay?